Toto Cradle Automated Lateral Patient Turning System. This quick reference guide has been produced to assist healthcare professionals and other users with the functional aspects of the system. This guide does not replace the general safety warnings, cautions and recommendations provided in the TOTO Cradle Automated Lateral Patient Turning System and TOTO Touch Control Unit instructions for use. TOTO Cradle is an automated lateral turning system designed to assist with patient repositioning, enabling prescribed lateral turning intervals even when users are sleeping. The TOTO Cradle consists of a powered digital control unit and a turning platform fitted beneath the user's existing mattress. It automatically turns users at clinician-defined intervals of 30 minutes to 4 hours, relieving pressure over their most vulnerable areas. The TOTO Cradle is designed to offer enhanced comfort, support and increased patient concordance, supporting improved clinical outcomes. The system features a secondary tilt on the opposite side of the primary tilt, which works in parallel to cradle the user, providing enhanced comfort and support while minimizing the risk of user migration across the support surface. Unlike other patient turning systems, Toto Cradle provides regular and consistent complete body turning in a lightweight, easy to use, setup and access format. Place and centralize the platform directly onto the bed frame with the foot symbol at the foot end of the bed and then place the mattress or mattress system directly on top. The platform should be free to inflate. Please ensure that each side of the platform can freely inflate and not be restricted by the mattress or the bed frame. Using the bed hooks located on the rear of the control unit, securely hang on the footboard of the bed. Alternatively, position on any stable horizontal surface. Using the quick connectors, connect the grey inflation hoses to the platform air cell hoses, connecting red to red. Connect the grey inflation hoses to the control unit, connecting black to black. Check the CPR deflation valves are securely in place. In an emergency, using the CPR deflation valve allows for rapid system deflation by firmly pulling the yellow tab. Connect to mains power via the power lead supplied. To turn the unit on, press and hold the power button for 3 seconds until the LED is illuminated. The default settings are air cell side selection, both sides, left and right, air cell inflation time for 120 minutes, air cell rest time for 120 minutes. To change the default settings, press the button to scroll through the LED lit options until you have arrived at your preferred choice. A healthcare professional should determine inflation and rest durations. Air cell inflation begins and each side remains inflated for the duration that is selected. If the control unit is turned off, it reverts to the default settings when switched back on. Therapy pause mode can be engaged by pressing this button once. This temporarily deactivates all control unit functions, returning the platform to a flat position. Press the Start Stop button and a single beep confirms activation. The currently selected side selection, inflate and rest time LEDs flash when active. For safety, the alarm activates after 10 minutes. To continue in this mode for another 10 minutes, press the Alarm Pause button and repeat this process until Therapy Pause mode is no longer required. To deactivate, press the Start Stop button. A single beep confirms deactivation and the control unit returns to the previously selected settings. Press the Side Selection button to scroll through the three available options. Left and right air cells are selected by default. Right air cell only. Left air cell only. 
Side selection refers to the patient's side as standing at the foot end of the bed. The system defaults to both left and right inflation each time the unit is switched on. The air cell inflation time is the length of time the air cells remain inflated, minimum 30 minutes, maximum 240 minutes. The system default is set to 120 minutes. The air cell rest time is the length of time the air cells remain deflated and the platform is flat. Minimum 30 minutes, maximum 240 minutes. The system default is set to 120 minutes. The alarm can be paused for up to 10 minutes while troubleshooting, after which time the alarm recommences if the problem remains. To mute the alarm, press the alarm mute button. This button also activates the interface lock. The interface lock prevents any unwanted changes to the control unit settings. Press and hold the alarm mute button for four seconds, confirmed by the padlock LED and a double beep. When the interface is locked, only the alarm mute button is operational. To deactivate, press and hold the alarm mute button for four seconds. Deactivation is confirmed by the padlock LED turning off and a double beep. The low system pressure alarm indicator LED indicates a potential air leak in the system. The high system pressure alarm indicator LED indicates a potential blockage in the system. The service indicator LED indicates when routine servicing is due. If indicated, please refer to the instructions for use. Position supine patients along the center line of the mattress by aligning the patient's nose with the center of the headboard. Ensure the head and shoulders are supported, preventing neck rolling and pivoting at the hips. Toto cradle is indicated for side lying if patients can self-support and they are in the middle of the bed. The use of bed rails should depend on the findings of an individual risk assessment. If the use of bed rails is deemed to be required, assess for the risk of entrapment. Always follow the manufacturer's instructions. When Toto is deflated and in the flat position, the distance between the top of the uncompressed mattress and the top of the bed rail should be more than 220 mm. When Toto is deflated and in the flat position, the distance between the top of the uncompressed mattress and the bottom of the bed rail should be less than 120 mm. When inflated, assess the distance between the tilted side of the mattress and the bed rail. This should be less than 120 mm. Assess for the risk of entrapment. When using bedsides, consider the use of padding, bumpers, and net infills. All components can be cleaned and decontaminated with either a 0.1% or 1% chlorine-based solution when followed by a thorough rinse with clean water. Please ensure the control unit is switched off and unplugged before cleaning begins. For further information, please refer to the TOTO Instructions for Use or visit the Frontier Medical Group website. Thank you.